So these, as you're drilling, your biomechanics is what you're trying to do. So don't make it aerobic. Don't make it conditioning. We condition it on the squat rack, right? Okay, so, and, and we're not racing it. I'm trying to learn form. I'm trying to get a more of a kinesthetic, unconscious competency going. So that also there, don't milk anything. So you got you have a weak ass grip. I'm not I don't need you to squeeze it, but you do need to close your hands. Okay? So you, it's not like this. So common things in the ski position, in the final position. So again. The foot overturned. It's common because you want to get your hip in there and you overturn the foot and now your foot and your hip are going to get the thrusting angle you want. You also have the opposite. Right hand is a power hand. So you turn the right hip into the technique. But this is structurally unsound because I'm falling this way. Also tactically, the attack does not come from the right. The attack comes from the left. The attack is coming from the left. You're not going this way. You see, watch, watch the, uh, the deviation angle, how much of it before I get on the line, okay? So I'm going this way, you see? No, no, I'm off the line, off the line, off the line, off the line, and then I finally get back on. Whereas when I come in this way, I'm already at that midpoint of the first one, of the right hand, and it's going this way. Do you guys see that? Okay. So although the right hand is the power hand, oh, it's not the reverse punch. Okay? It's not the right hip is not the power hip. Uh, then as you ski, you start to lean. It, it kind of goes together. Several things go together. This hand becomes some weird ass thing. You're almost doing Nico to yourself. Okay? Well, that's how we disarm people as we go through Nico and we go through Tone of Edge. So you're going to hit it, it's going to pop out of that hand. So don't over contort your hand. And in conjunction with that, when people over contort their hand, the whole body starts to lean, you see? And now you have that other problem again. Relatedly, people just have a kamae where their head's going this way. So they're like this, and again, you're falling. So, here, here, boom. How far do I turn it? Well, that would be too far. Well, it's comfortable where I can keep that grip. That's where I can keep that grip. So that's where I hold it. Then, look at me falling, nope, come back up. You see how I did that? Nope, too far, come back up here. Go back to the embryonic drill. Boom, boom, two, boom. Here, at this part, people wanna hunch. Don't hunch, boom. Get that same, you see? Same rear posterior chain going. Oh, sorry. Mm. Knees cave in. You need to stretch. Here. Boom. Butt drop parallel to the weapon. Also incorrect. It's not a marriage with gravity. I'm trying to get over the top of the force line. Boom. Here. Then withdraw the Joe. Foot. And we're just going to work it mechanically. So make sure as you get to third Joe, you're down here. This is where you hit contact with it. Then the movement continues.
Okay, let's go. Ready? Ready? All right. So rule number one is you should just do what I do and what I'm saying, and then understanding will come later when you have a context for it. If I'm speaking one language, you don't speak that language, right? Or I'm speaking about something you have no idea what I'm talking about. It sounds like a foreign language to you. There's no point in trying to think your way through it. Just do what I'm saying, all right? So here he goes. The drill. He goes. This part here, a lot of you are not doing the skill set I want. Look what you're doing. I, the skill is, his weapon stays there, I'm at zero pressure, I stay at zero pressure, and I stay stuck. I came off, did you see? I thought that was wrong. And that's as wrong as this. Stay there, lie, feel the stickiness of the weapon. Came off. Okay? Because it's not a block. And you're filling in that it's a block, but if you were either someone who had to defend themselves with a Joe, you would go, that's a piece of shit move. Or if you were even an architect, or a bridge builder, an engineer, put the weapon in the, the block position, where's the distal end? And who's got the maximum leverage? I do. Hold it up, please. Do you see? Then I come with a four foot piece of steel. Wham! Let's say it does not cut through your wood weapon. You're still going to get checked out. Even if you could. In fact, because you could hold it up, you would get checked out. And my next one wah, would be too fast for you. Got it? So we're not doing a block. There is no blocking in Aikido. If you ever see yourself blocking, you just automatically go, I'm doing it wrong. Maki and Twitch is a smothering move. So you give the opening this time. Come off that wall. Give the opening, and he does Kirigaesh. Whoa. His cut never gets out. Watch that in your style. This is trading. Trading is also not marginally viable. I keep the initiative. So I go, pull. It's really just one continuous advancement on the guy. Do you understand? So watch it again. We'll go slow. Oh, I continue to aggress. Oh. All right, how do I learn the smothering angle? Well, I'm going to be on one side. I have to learn to get on the other side without creating an angle of incidence on his bucket. I need a complementary angle to his cut. <gasps> Drill. That's all we're practicing right now. Keep, think of this, no longer a sword, just an angle, and I have to harmonize my body with it. If I start going like that, you can always look back at your body. Is this the right torso angle? No, is that where my hands are supposed to go? Is this the two timings for both hands? They look like they were doing the same thing. Watch. Right hand is moving, has left moved. No, left is not moved, you see? Left's just letting it do its thing. Not out here. Under my center. Boom. So we're just 
take the first part. Here, very light. Listen to the sound. This sound. Not that. Okay? Just that over and over. Ten times in switch rolls. Uh, the good thing about weapons is that it reiterates the lesson of it's inches and seconds, man. Inches and seconds. You guys have no fucking awareness over that concept. And then when we pick it up, you're not gonna like weapons. They're gonna scare the shit out of you because they're gonna hurt the shit out of you. Do you understand? The last major incident we had, the guy was shot through his pant leg. That's under an inch. Had he been even in a worse position, femoral artery, probably going to die. Okay, we didn't have, they didn't have any, anything in place for that kind of immediate medical care. We're doing the building searches, right? I told you, that I, I've gotten lucky the last few times, but it's all inches and seconds. Okay? Same thing here. So when he goes out, you cannot move up the circle unconsciously by taking that foot forward of your hip. You have to stay outside. Finish the cut. No, nope. you moved in, didn't you? Again. You understand what I want you to do? Scoot the fuck back, come on. You do your first part, good. Now we're going to show where his range is. Okay? You got it? I have to stay outside of that range. So I can't step, take my left foot here, I'm inside that range. You have to, from his cut, Picture his available circumference from this single radius. So you have to move out so that you are out of that range. Not like this. Inches and seconds. Do you understand? So when you do your drill, you can't come here. You are in. From his radius. Oh! The way I see it, I want him to touch my clothes. Do you understand? That's what I want. Back. You should be able to do it. Everything I want from my body language. Okay. It's the same way you intuit pre-attack indicators. You're, no one's going to go, hey, I'm going to attack you. Okay? So this is training. It's not extra. It's not demo bullshit. Okay? You should tell what, how my body goes, my breathing pattern, my gaze, everything. Okay? So here he goes. This is where the technique happens. Okay, let's go. Section. So we'll get to the end. Come on, let's go. Over here. Boom. Okay. When I ski, he's taking a candy. You understand? And then his candy continues when I go ahead and do the linear thrust. So uh, at this point, you see where my weapon is. Okay. I hit. Boom. What I tend to see is will follow him past the Ukendi. He has exited the technique. Don't keep, you're not fighting him anymore. Okay? It's not, he's not part of the form when he throws himself out of the technique. Here, boom. So you start to see that. You see that? And that's a structurally unsound angle for the ski.
because you're exposing the top spine of the weapon. So it's slightly down. Don't take these gross angles where you follow the guy into that kind of thing. Okay? He's out. Go.